All right. Crow Country. I hear this is pretty good. By Super Friend Best Games <laughs> 2024. <laughs> uh, those letters are. Yep. They're done. See any those, combination those letters are cooked forward. forever, bro. <laughs> In my brain, that's it. Done and done. Um, yeah, so this is a uh, apparently just a nice little short and sweet. Um, Could have probably done it in one if we started at 3 p.m. sharp and didn't talk to anybody and just went rah. But like, that's probably not going to happen. So probably do it in two, uh, if possible. Um, which shouldn't be too bad because I think if we enjoy some kart racing, that might not take the whole day. So we might even back to back this. Ooh. You know? Sounds like a plan. Which is why I did it in this order. Okay. From the artist that brought you snipper clips. What the fuck? <laughs> oh my god. Do you remember snipper clips? No. That's the game with the little cute characters that with like the scissors and like they'd have to. You, it was on the Switch. You'd use the, the gyro to make them make shapes and. Okay. Oh my god. It's just, it's the most adorable little. Wow. That's nuts. Holy fuck. Okay. <laughs> man. Last you, from the past. You cannot tell what people are going to do next, man. Yeah, if you just look at a Google image of snipper clips, um, you'll, you'll see what I'm talking about. Um, oh, that's cute. Yeah, right? Very cute. All right, combat controls. We can go with, I guess, what it used to be. Or what it is, what it is, what it is. I guess this is a bit more natural in my brain because I have no connection to the past on this, so I'll go modern. Um, Already blood on the screen. Yes, and I've been recommended survival horror mode. Danger lurks behind you, feelings everywhere. I don't want to be scared. Um, exploration, you won't be attacked, or murder of crows. That seems like the normal mode. Alright. Keep on searching, but beware. Goku, he's gonna show you. He's gonna help you find a way. Oh, we're going back. Okay. That's safe. <laughs> not, yeah, too, yeah, not, not too far. Not too far back. Not too far, not too far back. Bro. <laughs> if anyone asks, my name is Mara. Mara Forest. Special Agent Forest. That's me. Don't forget. Don't mess it up. All these rules. Oh yeah, visually, we're going back to PlayStation 1 on this bitch. Big blocky. Yeah. I just saw someone walking around slowly with like, yeah, that, that old, uh, I guess the comparison point. Uh, All right. Yeah, loading screen. There you go. There you go. It's not, it's not FF7 Shibi, but... It's not too far after it. I see you're packing heat already. I am. Shoot first. Wow, look at that slow turn. Ask questions later. Oof. Yeah. Okay, well, to be fair, this particular car and parking lot <laughs> configuration does feel Silent Hillish. Even though Ari is more on the menu. Okay, caca. Let's see. We got a sprint button. We can turn. We're not tank controlling. I mean, we are. It's simultaneously tank controls, but not, but like pretty much not. Like you are able to rotate like that, but they give it, you the freedom. But you can walk 3D. Yeah. Um, and if you D-pad. You can do old tank controls, right? So it's both at the wow. same time. It's it's pretty cool that they give you the option to do that. K. 
camera auto corrects. Aiming up and down is a thing. You, you're so you're gonna have to be really precise then. That spells trouble. No bullets. No reload. Ah, oh. yeah. <laughs> Just in case there's any confusion as to what type of game this was. Date of birth: January twelfth, nineteen sixty-five. Firearms expert. Twenty-five years old. Oh, there's a back step button. Okay. Back step. There's no examine. All right. That looks like some bullets or snow or those cigarettes. It's the truck of a car. It's locked. E. L. Crow. Silver keyhole. Boop, 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 boop. It's my police, police file. file. Missing persons report. Atlanta Police Department, 215 Lakewood Way, Southwest, Atlanta, Georgia, 30315. ATL. Name Edward Crow, 57, male, occupation, company, owner, land owner, health condition unknown, last seen by Mr. Tolman, 42, male, last known whereabouts, Crow Country Estate. Edward Crow of Crow Country. Yeah, okay. That seems about right. It's either that or the other guy, like Crow from Guilty Gear. You ever see that dude? The guilty or the old games, he looks like his name is Crow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, Natalie Crow, 27 female, relation to missing, daughter, reported to officer Detective Harrison James. 05061. All right, so Edward is missing, as is his and his daughter. Uh, his daughter reported. reported. The missing person's report. Uh huh. Bags of trash. They're old. They smell terrible. I don't think anybody's coming to collect them. Camera rotation? Yes. Blood? Blood. There's blood on the ground. What, what happened? happened here? Don't squat in the blood. I always have that moment when I'm watching things. Like, sometimes, like, a police procedural, for example, where you're like, wait, why is everyone walking through the crime scene? You're going to step on something. There's mm. micro traces of fabric that are, you're going to need. No. And it's like, wait, did that step occur? Is that later? How do you know when you're fucking up the crime scene yeah. versus when you have to still be part of it, you know? It's a really nice car, but it's covered in trash. I guess the owner doesn't care for it anymore. Like, I always never know what's happening whenever, in movies or TV, someone starts running through the crime scene, and I'm just like, Is it okay? Are you fucking it all up? The padlock looks a little rusty. It'll break with enough force. Better go open up the trunk of my car. The trunk of your car. In the back. Something important stored in here. Hey, ammo. You should stock up. Yeah. Old hatchback. I have enough, so I can return here to store more. There we go. Driving it any further could be dangerous. Oh, wait. Camera doesn't aim when you're aiming down the sights. Okay, that's important to know. Yes. Or refilled once. That's it. Oh, no. Damn, I thought Time I could. to go. Top up. Did you see that camera looking at you? I didn't. Was there a security uh -huh. camera? Oh, yeah, there was a security camera. Oh. Top on the fence. 
Oh, there it is. It's turning. Good catch. We're not alone. It's a ticket booth. I have no intention of buying a ticket. What is that? Oh, it's a pocket okay. light. Looks like someone dropped it. Might be useful in the future. How bad are the batteries? It's not on my inventory, so I guess it's just permanently part of me. Crow country. It's full of trash. Reach in. Med kit. Sweet. What is that? Diagram of a video game controller. Yeah. Hey, that's cool. LB switch weapon. Or short menu. And B down quick turn 180. Good to know. Trigger is also run. Okay. Access flashlight and grenade. Down and B. Oh, if you're tank controlling. Otherwise, you can just hit it. Yeah, okay. Ticket booth. There's nobody there. This place used to be fairly popular with the locals. Ticket prices. Page from a magazine. Yeah, you can hold down B or RT to run. The advantage of using RT is that it frees you up to use R, the right stick, to rotate the camera. The advantage of using RT is that it frees you up to use... Yeah. Okay. I, I appreciate them being explicit about that. Rotate with R. Camera will quickly face forward when you press RB to use your weapon. Yes, aiming down the sights is an auto center. What's that? Bottle with an ant antidote. Uh, for not getting poisoned? Uh, yep. Oh. oh, and if I hold Y. Oh, no, wait, hold on. Only on tank controls does it do the back step. Um,. Oh, if you press it in, neut in neutral, you, you do it anyways. Got it. Okay. Uh, nothing in this corner. Main gate leads out to the public parking lot. Been blocked over since they shut Crow Country. Oh yeah. Ah, I have to plow through. Can see like a, a rail on the floor. Yeah, yeah, for like a a streetcar. Don't mind if I do. Car. What car? That sounds dangerous. It does not appear to be. Page from magazine. When shooting, your bullets will do more damage if you're closer to the enemy. Ah. So attempting to shoot enemies from far away will use up your ammo supplies more quickly. Ah, okay. Point blank for damage. It is a door. door. Let's finish what we're doing. Backpack. UFO tour 1988. It's empty. Did somebody lose it? Birds! Can't be trusted. They're not even real, bro. Or so I heard. <laughs> I 
Ah, you're gonna have a good time. <laughs> if that's getting you, you're gonna have a good time. <laughs> Some kind of dead animal? Can't make out any features. Gotta be sure to... Pull one of these every once in a while. Um, I just I just wasn't sure if, mm -hmm. if it was an aggressive fly or not. You know? Also, this is the kind of old game where skating <laughs> absolutely possible. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> What's that? Some laser, laser sights for a handgun. Who left this lying around? Right. Incredible. Thank you. Oh, that thing's gonna come flying. Mm -hmm. It's a big crow. Hello, Mr. Crow. I'm looking for your boss. Do you know where he is? Karasu. Alright. Looks like that opens up. And that's a red barrel. And we all know red barrels are fun. So... Uh, let's try some of these doors. We passed at least three of them. And this had no interactable, right? Right. Locked. Open. Just think. The faucet is running. Ancient Mara Forest saves the day once again. Right? Wasting water. Box of handgun ammo in the sink? Sure thing. Dirty sinks are pretty great for, for horror. Mm -hmm. There's always something menacing about a dirty bathroom and a dirty sink. Automatic hand dryer. My hands are already dry. No, you're gonna put all the poop smell in your face. I, I, I was gonna say, I was gonna, I, I, I broke Reggie by telling him the truth at Combo Breaker. The truth about the hand dryer. I'm sorry. I know you appreciate a good hand dry, but the truth cannot be denied, I dude. Can't, can't unlearn it. Oh man. See, once you gain, once you gain that insight, knowledge you can't forget about. No, I'm learning it. Vending machines and trash cans may provide you with supplies if you're running low. You can also get a hand a handgun ammo from the trunk of your car. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Cliff notes, if you've never heard it, um, when you wash your hands in a public bathroom or so, or in any bathroom, when you flush the toilet, if you don't cover the toilet seat, uh, poop particles shoot right up into the air all over your bathroom, right? That's some blood. That's some blood right there. So in your own bathroom, you want to make sure to close the toilet seat to minimize the poop particle effect. Uh, but in a public bathroom, there is no cover because every toilet is open because that's how public toilets are. So it's non-stop infinite poop particles everywhere all over that bathroom. Now, they tend to settle on the ground. And when they do, uh, or they settle on surfaces all over the bathroom, it's pretty disgusting. You can't avoid it. It's what it is. But if you use that air dryer, all those particles are blasting onto your hands. And you're walking away with more shit on your hands than when you walked into the bathroom. Um, this was tested by folks who pulled out the the, the big microscopic yeah. uh, 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 um, tools and, and, and took a look. So uh, There's something in there, but I can't get at it. God damn it, hand hey, in the toilet. Reach in. Yep. It's blocked by a pile of old bones. Ugh. <gasps> God, that's not gonna work. Who put bones in there? Jesus. Yeah, so. All that to say, um. You are, uh. Don't put your phone down. <laughs> <laughs> don't put your phone down on any of those surfaces and grab paper towels and or paper to dry your hands. Don't use the hand dryer. And that sucks because I used to have a big, strong feeling. And I used to talk aggressively about how much better the air blade was compared to the other types of non-Dyson hand dryers. I had big, strong feelings about them. They're all terrible. <laughs> They're all terrible for you now. All right? All right. 
the Odd Magazine, August 1989. Strange sighting at the abandoned theme park. Paper towels would not be covered in poo particles because they're wrapped inside of the machine that is covered, and you're pulling it out from a safely covered surface straight to your hands. Mm. Aspiring paranormal photographer Arthur Mole sent in a Polaroid he took while exploring the abandoned amusement park Crow Country. Could this thing possibly be real, or is it just another hoax? Here at Beyond Magazine, we're not convinced. Try a little harder next time, Arthur. Is it like a walking? Yeah, it's like it could be like a it could be like a Sasquatch, but the problem is that it's with the PS1, you know, sphere, the graphics. So you're like, is it? I can't tell. Is it just is is the Sasquatch caked up, or is that <laughs> just the you know is that the model? All right. Nice, great reading the magazine on top of a toilet. Something's, Something's blocking, blocking it. it. Oh yeah, that's alive. That is big alive. It's a urinal. Is this the men's bathroom? Sure is. Seems so convenient. Doesn't look like anybody's cleaned it in a while. Just drop some ice in there. Call it a day. Hmm. Back to the car if need be. All right, we got a zombo chilling in the stall. Um. I don't want to waste a bullet finding out. Infinite ba ammo is useful, but when you got to run back for it, that's oh, the that's challenge, the right? That crate has me wondering, though. Crates have stuff in them. Locked bronze keyhole. Okay. Gonna need a key. I'm gonna need a goddamn fucking pipe is what I'm gonna need, actually. Phone? Nobody to call. What is this? Fortune telling machine. Oh, that's cool. Well, ten credits remaining. Would you like to hear your fortune? Yes. Talk to the tree fairy to enter the fairy pond. Thank you. That number says nine. So that was my hint. I have spent a hint. There's a hole for something to be inserted. Oh, that's gonna take. Damn. Do I have to spend a bullet for that, too? There's a medkit in there. Maybe you'll find a crowbar some, somewhere. I really hope so. <laughs> Got some shells. Humanoids enemies will take more damage if you get a headshot. A headshot. There's also a chance of decapitating some enemies. Oh. Okay. All right, so instead of shooting at things that might result in stuff, let me shoot at stuff that definitely will result in stuff. Okay. Ice cold. Bomb. Yeah, 
We can quickly defeat enemies by exploding the red barrels. Similarly useful are the blue electrical generators found on some walls. Oh, ah, maybe that's what that was. That's what that was, yeah. Although I get the feeling that, like, you might want to save that, right? That's an environmental clear that is probably going to be useful for stronger and or larger things instead of wasting it on a grunt. Fine. I admit it. I dropped the bronze key into the fairy pond. It was an accident. It wouldn't be such a problem if we'd made a spare. Ah. And we gotta talk to the fairy to get into the fairy pond. It needs a silver key. Something wrong with the ventilator in the fairy pond area. We think something might have crawled into the pipe and died. Don't run the ventilator. And if you do, hold your breath. Seriously. Okay, bronze key is in the fairy pond. Talk to the fairy to get into the fairy pond. Once in the fairy pond... Um... Check the pipe. <laughs> ah! Bear traps are a thing. And you're bleeding. Okay. That's what one pip of damage looks like. Alright. Now we know to look down. Yep. We can pick up that med thing. Look down, look down. Some more antidotes. Oh, let's go. Uh, okay. So, yeah, this might be worth a bullet. How are we doing on inventory space? Because the other thing I learned from Signalis is that RE1 was all about extremely limited inventory space. Mm. This seems like you could fit a good bit in here. And it's stacking. Yeah, no worries. Okie doke. So, 14. Uh, need something circular. Let's go up this way. Mushrooms. Fairy tale town. Gonna need to shoot one of these boxes eventually. Ah, little cover barrel. Maybe I can shoot that too. To 106. Mm hmm. Or 9012. <laughs> okay, let's go with two. I'm going to go with, yeah, because <laughs> otherwise that's the worst two ever done. <laughs> 2106. These mushrooms aren't going to, like, fucking punch the shit out of me, are they? It's a little house. It's a this real door. It's a real door. It's locked. No keyhole. What about that little post box? Bronze keyhole. Still need a bronze key. You know what? Um, I'm gonna be real stupid if all these boxes have good stuff in them and I'm not cracking them open to find out. Um, let me uh, verify the situation. That's good. Okay. I'm going to assume the bullet to med kit ratio is a, a worthy trade. Let's spend. The 
it's gone. It's gone. It's here. Empty. Ah, and there's the bait. All right, so we can get wasted. Bullets too. Yeah. Gotcha. All right. I understand the assignment. These mushrooms better not fucking act up. Is this the pond? It's a it's wheel. A wheel. And a decapitated ass bird. Oh, it's been broken. I wouldn't know how to repair it. Staff memo. So the eggs are going missing. I think the kids are stealing them. Luckily, it turns out you can use anything as long as it's about the right size and shape. It's weird. I assume the eggs were magnetic or something, but apparently not. Oh, so you can just use anything that'll fit into the hole. Shotgun. Newspaper. The athletic glow. Nothing? No one's taking the bait on that? Damn. Alright. I let it hang. The Atlanta Globe, May 1986, Crow Country theme park opening soon. Cancel your weekend plans with the in-laws and grab your sunglasses. A brand new theme park is opening just a few miles southeast of Atlanta. Explore fairy tale town, haunted hilltop, and ocean kingdom at Crow Country, which promises a day full of fun and adventure for the whole family park is owned by one Mr. Edward Crow, a lifelong Atlanta local and landowner. Yes, that's right. It appears he named the park after himself. Not much is known about Mr. Crow, other than the vague, unsubstantiated reports that he is exceptionally wealthy. Nonetheless, we look forward to seeing what Crow Country has to offer when it opens its gates this summer. Eighty-six. If the swan breaks down... We just, break down! Just take the egg out of its wheel system. Doing so disables the radio signal and locks the wheel until you can get a mechanic out to fix it. Well, it looks like we can get down there. It doesn't turn. A strange mechanical head, but I gotta put something in its mouth. Pretty sure this wheel's broken. Can leave that head down there. Is there a neck to take out? I guess not. What's going on? Say again? They said if it's broken, take the egg out, but there was nothing that came out, right? From the broken one. Uh, yeah. There's no currently, um, no pulling anything out there. Let me grab this antidote. Gonna need something at least egg-sized or shaped. So there's a hole in the fence. Can't reach the edge of the water. Okay. Let's see if the fucking gun button can save the day. And we said it doesn't have to be an egg. It can be something like an egg, right? Something egg-shaped, yes. Currently, the inventory doesn't have any key items. These are all just healing consumables mm -hmm. and ammunition. So we still got to keep looking. Uh, let's see what the rest of the room has. I see you, fucker. Wish I could, like, roll something onto you to, like, make it trigger. Ooh. Was there a memo on the wall? Giant mushroom. Doesn't look very happy. Is this a door? I can't see a way to open it. Mm -hmm. Should I 
poison, use an antidote as soon as you can. Large medkits also contain antidotes, but you might wish to use them sparingly. Good to know. Typewriter. Is that Polaroid? Polaroid, yeah. Camera. Fairy. There's something in the tree. It's a wooden carving of a woman. She's moving. She's facing the other way. It's broken. Too close. Cool. Good, good. All bloodied up. Yep. We're just going to leave that there. We're not going to take it with us. Hello. Have a seat in the corner. I'll have you done in a minute. Quickest way to Torman's office is through the fairy pond area, right? Problem is, I forgot how to get the stupid tree fairy to move out the way. I guess I need a code for the keypad, and then... What? I'm sure it was written down somewhere. Maybe in Crow's Lounge. Mm -hmm. June 21st. Banana peel. Okay. Imagine seeing a bro sitting there and you're just like, yeah, I see your legs all fucked up, mm -hmm. but I gotta search this trash first. Mmm, <laughs> but that appeal. That looks important. Never know when you might need it. Hello. <laughs> Sir, what happened here? What? Who? My name is Myra Forrest. I'm here to help. They attacked me. All I wanted was proof. What's your name? Arthur Mole. I just needed a better, a clearer photo. A photo of what? Who attacked you, Arthur? Those things. I, I don't know. Those people, they saw me and... Alright, stay calm. You're bleeding quite badly. What did you say your name was? Mara. Oh. Come on, I think we should take a look at your leg. Thanks. I hope it doesn't matter that it wasn't a big one. <laughs> I still feel kind of bad. Come on, let's move you somewhere safe. You don't look too heavy. All the way back. I moved Arthur to my car. Great. We'll be safe there, for now. For now? Uh, alright, so the banana peel. Also, Mole, we saw that name on... Was it the report? We saw the name Mole somewhere. Um... Where'd the banana peel go? Was it in the newspaper report? Was he the photographer? Is that where it was? It was somewhere. I just reckon. I just know that we saw the name. Yeah, the the guy who sent the photo to the magazine about the horror story, and they he said, took the photo. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Are there two inventories? What makes you say that? Where's the banana peel? I don't know. Maybe it was discarded. It's a grenade. Okay. The banana peel is not a real item. Actual trash? Yes. I was about to go shove it in the, in the, in the thing's mouth. <laughs> Wait a minute. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Is there a hidden... <laughs> like, 
hidden key somewhere. It's not part of an eight. Doesn't seem to be. That's an O. Mm. Okay. It's a real grenade. Theater. Locked. Is there something in front of that barrel? There was uh, something bloodied up. Arthur wrote this. Tree Lady 3184. Thank you. Worked. She turned around. Okay, remember, you have to talk to her? Mm -hmm. There's some kind of phrase, phrase you have, have to say. say. Ask her. Was there a phrase? 